guys, so today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make these custom app covers. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website and it is called Icons 8. Here you can find a lot of different icons that you can download and use to make these app covers. So the first thing I'm doing is just going to the search bar under the icons option and I'm looking up Instagram because that's the app I want to edit the cover for. As you guys can see, there are a ton of different options, so you don't necessarily have to make your own. For instance, you can download this cloud one that looks pretty cool, and you can also go ahead and edit it and stuff if you don't like the specific color scheme. Here, I'm just going over to the recolor option and then going to the palette option, and that actually changes like the outlines and stuff, which is a cool feature. So you can always just choose one of these, but personally, I wanna make my own, so I'm gonna go find an Instagram logo that I like which is this one, all you have to do is click on it and then go over to the colors. You can choose one of the colors from the palette or what I'm doing is choosing a custom color. I know I want the background to be a dark pink so I'm going to like a pinkish color and I'm making it a light color pink and you're gonna wanna recolor it here before you go to a different app. Then I'm going to download and saving it to the biggest size that I can so that I'm able to make it look good. Next, I'm going to this website called Canva. There's also an app on your phone. I'm going to create a design and you're gonna want something that's square. So I just went with the Instagram post option. Once you click on the background, what will pop up is this little color bar in the top left and you can pick again default colors, but I'm gonna go ahead and just make my own color. I wanna use like a darkish muted pink. So I'm going ahead and adding that. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to uploads and you're gonna upload this photo that you just downloaded from that website. You can just go to device and then I just straight up downloaded it like so and then it'll pop up. Now you can just drag the corners to resize it which is what I'm doing and I'm also aligning it in the center by using these pink guidelines. What I want to do to take it a little bit further is I want to add like this marble squiggle line detail. Uh, you'll understand as you see. And if you just look up squiggle, you'll see a bunch of different options. These are the ones that are recommended to me too, which is nice. So if I wanted a different squiggle, I could go and look at this. I decided I didn't like this one though, cause it was too thick. So I think I looked up like squiggle line. Yeah, I tried to arrange it. I decided I didn't like it. So I deleted it and then I went to the search bar and I typed in something different line. Yeah. Then I found this one, which I liked, so I just literally clicked on it and it popped up on the page. I arranged it how I wanted it to be arranged, and then I went to the color option, which is this top left box. I clicked on the color that it was, and then I went and I just made that color lighter by dragging it towards the top left. And that's how I got that line, and then you can just play around with this. There's a duplicate option, which I did, so that I could duplicate the same line with the same effects. And I arranged this on my image in a different spot. I just changed the size and rotated it a little bit. And then the last thing I did in order to make it look a little bit better is I changed the transparency of it just so that it kind of blended into the background. You don't have to do this, but I thought it looked good. Then I downloaded it and you can go ahead and airdrop these pictures to your phone or email them to yourself so that you can download them on your phone. So the next thing I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do is how to use these and actually make these app icons. You're gonna to wanna to go into the shortcuts app and then go to the plus button, go to add action and then go to scripting. Once you're in scripting, go to open app and then choose. And then what I did is I just looked up the Instagram app since that's the one I wanted to route it to. Then click three dots and I went to, oh no, I named it Instagram and I added two M's cause I actually already had a shortcut for this. Then you're going to click add to home screen and then I changed the name to Instagram. This is the name that's going to pop up in your home screen so that's why I said Instagram and then click on the logo and then choose photo and then you can click the one from your camera roll. You can also edit it and resize it so if something was a little wonky when you made it you could fix that here. Then just keep clicking done until you see this page and then you're all set. It'll pop up on your home screen.